What is gravity? There are two important yet different theories that explain what gravity is. First, Isaac Newton's law of gravity states that all particles have some kind of attractive force proportional to the product of mass and inversely proportional to the square of their distances. On the other hand, Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity states that the curving of space-time towards mass creates the perception of gravity, not some magical force. So which one's right, and how can we prove it? This year, 2020 April 16, ESO and the Gravity Collaboration published the observations on a star, S2, orbiting a massive black hole at the center of our galaxy, which its precession proved Einstein was right. First, let's look at a Schwarzschild precession. Imagine drawing an ellipse on the merry-go-round. Each time you complete one ellipse, the merry-go-round also rotates, which makes a precession like this, or like these. Precession was actually observed in Mercury long before, which confused scientists. Newton tried to solve this with his law of gravity's inverse square law, to claim that precessions could form if there are other planets altering Mercury's orbit. But Newton's prediction had some drawbacks. Not only were his Mercury calculations inaccurate, but if with only two bodies, like S2 and the black hole, there would be no precession. It's like if the merry-go-round stops, and you can only draw the same ellipse over and over. Newton's equation is remarkable and widely used today. It's just that under some extreme conditions, precessions couldn't quite be explained. But Einstein's general relativity solves this problem. Einstein used his space-time field equations and simplified them into effective radial potential energy, which is similar to Newton's inverse square law but with a little modification. With this equation, his mercury calculations were more accurate, and it also showed how two bodies successfully precesses. S2's precession is a large-scale clarification of general relativity, first time on a massive black hole, and just like mercury, it proves Einstein right once more. But what's more interesting is the breakthrough that comes after. From now on, general relativity is no longer just a theory. It's now a study we can trust, and this trust solidifies the foundations of our future research. I'm excited to see what we'll achieve in the years to come, but only our trust in the name of science today will make it happen.